Hi, this is James C2. Welcome to this tutorial. This one covers reports. So let's go into CRM and have a look at reports. Reports are found under the sales, service or marketing tile of CRM. So let's look at it in the sales area. We scroll to the relevant tile, click that, and that gives me a list of available reports. As ever with CRM, we can filter it through other views, but I want to look at available reports, so I'll leave it as is. And the report I want to demonstrate is a sales history one. So let's open that report up. First thing that it will do is it will ask me to select some filter criteria to apply against my report. So, this report runs on the actual close date of the opportunity being in the last X years, which is defined as 1. I don't want to see the sales history for the past year, I only want to see the past 6 months. So I change my filter criteria to the last X months and change the value to 6 and that will allow me to run my report based on the last six months. So I run the report, it's generated in chart view. Each element of the chart is clickable, so I can double click to drill down in the data. That will open the data in text form. I can also choose to edit the filter. I can choose the grouping, so I can change that by industry, by month, so if I change it to months, and view that report, it'll break it down by months. I can edit the filter, so I can choose, well, as well as filtering by the close date, I want to also be able to specify certain owners, certain salespeople. So I want to look at the closed opportunities in the last six months, and I want to also be able to specify certain users. So I change my filter to equals, and choose the values from the drop-downs. I want to look specifically at Hardy, Ian, Kevin, Max and Williams records. So click add, run report, and here we can see that there are figures for Max, Hardeep and Kevin. For the others there is no columns because there is no data. You can also check the filter summary so I can have a look at that and I can just double check that I'm looking at opportunities which were actually closed in the last six months and the owner equals Hardeep, Ian, Kevin, Max, or William. Another powerful thing that you can do with reports is you can export all that data in a variety of formats, and that's done using the export button. On the export button, you click that, and you can then select what type of file you want to export. Do you want to export a CSV? Do you want to export it in Excel, MHTML? It's up to you. I'm going to choose to export it in CSV, so I click CSV, and here is my exported report. Open that up and I can see all of the data that was in that report exported to Excel. And that demonstrates how easy reports are to use. As discussed, there are several reports that come with CRM out of the box, but obviously in your organisation you may wish to create your own reports. So let's go ahead and demonstrate how to do that. To create a new report, I simply click the new button. Now CRM provides a very handy, very easy to follow report wizard, which is available for building reports, so I'm going to use that. Click on the report wizard to launch it, and the first thing I have to specify is whether I want to create a new report from scratch, or if I want to create a new report using an existing one which I'll then amend. I want to create a new one from scratch, so I leave that option selected and click next. I then give my report a name. Now I'm going to call mine performance by salesperson and what I want to look at is a list of our users and the performance of the opportunities which have been assigned to them. So my primary record type will be user, my related record type will be opportunities where that user is the owner. So I'm looking for opportunities, open brackets, owning user, close brackets and click next. I then define the default filters that are going to be applied when someone first runs this report. Please do bear in mind these are default filters only. A user running your report can change the filters to suit their needs. In the case of this report, I am not interested in when the opportunity was last modified, so I'm going to remove that filter criteria. I want the reportee to be able to filter on is the revenue value. So, what I want to do is find the estimated revenue for each of our opportunities, and I want the reportee to be able to define ones that are over a certain value. So I need to change equals to 
is greater than or equal to and the user who is running the report will then specify the value when they run the report. I can then use other filters to specify which user should be searched for. Again, I don't want the modified on field to be considered, so I'll delete that. I want the person running the report to be able to specify is which particular user they wish to run the report against. If I left it as equals current user, when someone runs the report, it will pull back all of the records that they are the owner of. I want them to be able to specify others, so I'll change that to equals. And when they run the report, they'll be able to specify a certain value. I then click next. And we move on to design the form which shows the report results. So, first thing I want to show on my report is the username. So I click here to add a column. I want to use information from the record type which is user. And I want to display their full name which is already selected for me. I want the column width to be 100 pixels. I can change that to other certain predefined values by using the drop down arrow. I'm happy with 100 pixels, so I'll hit OK. So the first column shown on our report will be the username. The next thing I want to see on my report is the topic of the opportunity. So I again, I will click here to add a column. And this time I don't want to return information from the user. This time I want to return information from the opportunity. And again, topic is pre-selected. I can change it to any other field on the opportunity that I wish, but topic is pre-selected, so I'll leave that alone. And I then want to add which sales stage the opportunity is at. And again, 100 pixels, I'm happy with that. I also want to show which opportunities have been won and which have been lost, as well as those that are open. So what I need to add there is the opportunity status reason. I have decided that I actually want status reason to be displayed before sales stage. I don't need to start editing or restart making my report. I simply highlight the column I wish to move and use the arrows to move it on the form. I also want to add column which shows the estimated revenue from the opportunity. So again, record type will be opportunity and the field I want to display will be the estimated revenue. Hit OK and then hit Next. The report wizard then takes me to a screen which will let me define which way I want the results to be presented to the viewer. We have two options. We have table only, which will show it in text form only, or we can choose chart and table, which will display it graphically and with text. If we select the chart and table option, we then have to make a choice between showing the table below the chart or initially just showing the chart itself and then allowing the user to interact with it to then show the tech that drives the chart. So I'll hit next. I choose which type of chart I want. I want a vertical bar chart. I want the X axis to be the full name. If I didn't, I could change it to be any other field which is contained within the report. I want the Y axis to be the estimated revenue. Again, I can change it. You can also change the labels attached to the axes and you can choose not to show them or you can choose to not show the legend by unselecting the format labels and legends options. I'm happy with it the way it is, so I'll hit next. I then get a report summary which confirms I'm creating a report called Performance by Salesperson. The primary record type is user, the related record type is opportunity, so I click next. I then get a confirmation screen telling me my report was successfully created. Click finish. That'll return me to the report wizard. I'm finished with that, so I close it, and I will then find my report in the list of available reports. And here it is. To demonstrate the report being run, I shall simply double click on it. You will see the filter criteria that were applied. Again, do bear in mind, these can be changed if it doesn't suit the person who's running the report's needs. They can add or amend or remove the filtering criteria. I'm happy with it as it is. I want to find all opportunities where the estimated revenue is greater than a thousand pounds. And I want to return it where the user equals. It gives me a look up to the users who are logged in the system. And I will pick a selection of them, just at random. I shall select, add, I'll then run my report. As we can see, it's generated the results. If I scroll down, we can see that this is page one of three. I can view other pages by using the arrows. 
Now we have to look at the next page. Here is our information all in nice easy to read form. As with other reports we can choose to export this information to other file formats or if we are particularly interested in one of the records some of the information is clickable. So because we are relating this to a topic of a certain opportunity I can click on the topic title that will take me to the opportunity or I can click on Bethany Bridges and that will take me to her record. And as you can see reports are very powerful, they can be used easily and they are easy to set up. Hope you enjoyed this quick video. If you're interested in any other kind of information, please follow us on Twitter, like our video or subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you'd be interested in a free trial, simply click on the link or please subscribe to our playlist. Thank you.